who is your sugar daddy? Speakingarrangement.com is a dating website for wealthy guys whom we term sugar daddies or wealthy women, sugar mummies, for them to meet beautiful, younger women and men whom we term as sugar babies. College debt and dim job prospects are pushing more janitors with PhDs into memberships than ever before. Back in 2006, when the website first started, uh, there were about 25% of the sugar babies were college students. We have seen that number increase to about 35 to 40% in just in the last few years alone. Online searches combined with mingling parties like these promise more luck with finding that perfect sugar sweet relationship. We just prefer to be treated very well. Whatever the night leads to, leave it open. This Ivy League college grad is facing tens of thousands of dollars worth of debt. With no job and financial aid, she wants a sugar daddy. Prostitution should be legal. I'm not looking for love. I'm looking for someone who I can casually date who might be able to help provide some financial support for myself. The former student believes relationships for money are on their way to becoming a trend. Given hikes in tuition and the current state of the economy, more and more people are looking for alternative ways to finance their education. There are plenty of young men that are also looking to date older women. Men like Joseph. Also burdened by college debt, he's looking for a rich lady to take care of him. Different people find themselves in different situations, so um, you never know who's going to bring that. Like I said, you just put yourself out there and see what happens. Organizers say they found the golden ticket. Whether it be a student, whether it be uh, a single parent mother who may have difficulty with her own finances, the way the economy is right now, I think a people of need to the people that have, I think it's a nice bridge. Critics call dating for money prostitution. And there are websites where people can find each other and engage in any kind of uh, mutually beneficial sexual relationship they want. But wherever money's involved, it's a problem. 68 year old actor Johnny Russo has 10 mothers to his 11 children. He says money saves time. I know who I am, I know how old I am. And where else can you go and meet 200 women on a Monday night in New York City? Most of the women he has met so far have turned out to be prostitutes, however. Most of these kids, if they truly need an education in whatever, I'm a person who has a lot of extra rooms. <laughs> and so if I could be helpful, it would be marvelous. But most of them are just working girls. Author and journalist Melanie Burliette had more luck with the Seeking Arrangement dating service. I needed money. I was stuck in a, a rough spot, as I imagine a lot of college-age girls are these days. You know, it, it is a method of, you know, tempering financial problems. The fact that girls, some girls, choose this option is not upsetting to me. It's been done for ages. Tough economic times call for tough measures. Claiming to be helping thousands to find ideal arrangements, could services like this be on their way to creating debtless grads and financially secure jobless in the U.S. with an added bonus of a hunk like this on their arm. Anastasia Cherkina, RT, New York.